1921 Blackwardine, England. Alfred Watkins sits atop a hill studying a map when he realizes these energy lines he's been discovering connect and follow to ancient sites around the world. His findings lead us to the mysteries of Earth's energy via the concept of ley lines, where ancient secrets meet modern science. Is there really energy all around you, even below your feet? Decode the mysteries shrouding these ancient energy pathways that traverse the globe. Watkins, a British photographer and amateur archaeologist, proposed the idea of these energy lines in the early 1920s. He observed that numerous ancient sites, like the widely recognized Stonehenge, contained lines hidden underneath the ground creating passageways that cut through the landscape. Ever since, the theory has expanded to the belief in magical energy highways connecting global marvels. Some accounts state that the most well-known ley lines pass through ancient and secret locations. From Stonehenge in England to the Great Pyramids of Egypt, the stunning heights of Machu Picchu in Peru, and ancient temples throughout Bali and Asia, they weave together like an ethereal tapestry. Notably, the ley line connecting the route from Stonehenge to the Great Pyramid passes through several noteworthy locations. One of them is Lake Titicaca, located high in the Andes between Bolivia and Peru and considered the Incas' birthplace. The ley line extends north to Tenochtitlan, or Mexico City, the Aztec civilization's ancient capital. It's interesting to think about if these ancient cultures were aware of these energy lines and purposefully built their cities and monuments along them. In England, other notable locations along ley lines include Avebury, a Neolithic henge monument containing three stone circles, and the ancient site of Glastonbury Tor with its medieval tower. Both of these sites are enveloped in mystery and local legends, adding further intrigue to this invisible lattice of energy. Some even suggest that these lines may affect everything from human awareness to bird migration. A hidden network of energy lines spanning the entire planet is an intriguing idea for people with mystical beliefs, even though skeptics could write it off as chance or our human tendency to see patterns. Could our ancestors, the architects of these breathtaking locations, kept a long-lost secret? Picture a world where hidden bonds link the ancient wonders and hold the keys to Earth's puzzles. Join us as we delve into the mystery of ley lines, exploring these unseen connections that may just link us all together. Many different cultures worldwide have their own unique interpretations of these enigmatic parallel lines. From each continent and throughout millennia, ley lines have piqued curiosity and awareness. They have been viewed through a variety of cultural lenses each of which has contributed its own interpretation and importance. Let's embark on a global journey to comprehend the diverse cultural viewpoints on ley lines. We begin in Australia, the land down under, where we learn about the Aboriginal people and their belief in song lines, their version of ley lines. These are pathways that cut through the land or the sky, following the course that the local creator beings took. The Aboriginals sing these roots each song depicting a unique landscape, thus creating a complex auditory map of their environment. We then take flight to ancient China, where ley lines are known as dragon paths. These were seen by the Chinese as Mother Earth's vitality channels, shaping everything from architectural designs to burial grounds. Feng Shui, the age-old art of aligning with the surrounding environment, was fundamentally based on comprehending these dragon paths. Our voyage then takes us to the vibrant green terrains of Celtic lands where ley lines are depicted as fairy paths. These pathways were believed to be unseen routes traversed by fairies and spirits, and they held a sacred importance in Celtic mythology. It was considered an ill fate to construct anything that blocked these paths, a belief that still prevails in some countryside areas of Ireland. Across the pond, we learn about ley lines in the United Kingdom known as old straight tracks. These were ancient lines marked by the placement of megalithic structures, hilltops, and other geographical markers. They were believed to be paths of spiritual energy that connected important landmarks. In fact, many sacred sites like the Stonehenge and the Rollwright Stones are thought to be connected through these ley lines. These interpretations, 
while varying in their specifics, share a universal belief in an invisible network of energy lines crisscrossing the planet. These lines, whether perceived as song lines, dragon paths, fairy paths, or old straight tracks, are believed to link significant landmarks, forging patterns and roots of spiritual, historical, and geographical significance. From every corner of the world, these lines have whispered their tales, entwining us in a shared web of mysticism. Next, we'll explore the intriguing connection between these ley lines and revolutionary physicist Nikola Tesla. Was famed inventor Nikola Tesla aware of the unique alignments of the Egyptian pyramids and their connection to ley lines? Tesla's fascination with the pyramids, renowned for their precision and alignment with celestial bodies, suggests a potential association with these unseen pathways that link ancient sites worldwide. Could Tesla's admiration for the pyramids have been influenced by their location on powerful ley lines? Although there's no substantial evidence, Tesla seemed to either know or perhaps learned of this knowledge through a contact or ancient text. Following this intriguing theory, we delve into Tesla's work in Colorado Springs, Colorado and Wardenclyffe, New York. Both these places, noteworthy for Tesla's revolutionary experiments, sit on ley lines. In Colorado Springs, Tesla focused his efforts on deciphering and manipulating electricity, the setting for his iconic laboratory. This location is positioned directly over a significant ley line. The story at Wardenclyffe, New York is familiar. This is the site where Tesla started his bold ambition to build a wireless transmission tower, which, however, never got fulfilled. Yet, just like Colorado Springs, Wardenclyffe is located on a ley line, further reinforcing a potential connection between Tesla and these connecting geographical alignments. This brings us to question, was Tesla's choice of these sites a mere coincidence? Or had he more time been able to plug into these ley line connections how he intended? The mystery remains unsolved, but the questions themselves fuel our curiosity and magnify our respect for Tesla's genius. It's intriguing to consider how Tesla to human innovation may have been more intertwined with these mystic lines than we could have ever imagined back then. As we venture further in our quest to decipher the elusive ley lines, our path intertwines with two influential figures, Tony Wedd and Paul Devereux. In 1961, Wedd published a book called Skyways and Landmarks, stating that Watkins' lays were both authentic and functioned as markers to direct extraterrestrial spaceships that were coming to Earth. Upon contrasting Watkins' theories with those of French ufologist Aimé Michel, who contended that orthotenies are lines that extraterrestrial spacecraft might have traveled. Wedd proposed that either the spacecraft were tracking ancient landmarks or they were tracking a magnetic current that was traversing the Earth. Adding to this, a ley line hunting club was created in 1962. Many ley line hunters utilize esoteric practices like dowsing and numerology to detect these mystical paths. The dowsing method, beyond locating water and gems, is believed to tap into the Earth's energy and reveal magnetic current. On the other side of this chapter, we have Devereux, a highly esteemed researcher and author renowned for his work in archaeology, anthropology, and research on consciousness. Devereux has brought new insights into the knowledge of ley lines with his distinctive blend of scientific and spiritual viewpoints. He proposes that these lines may have functioned as paths for our ancestors' ceremonial or ritualistic purposes as well. His fascination with the unanswered mysteries of Earth motivated him to delve into the world of ley lines, where his contributions and daring theories are significant. Devereux pioneered the Dragon Project in 1977, an initiative aimed at unraveling the mysteries of ancient sites and their possible connection to ley lines, leveraging a blend of scientific techniques and intuitive methods. The Dragon Project was dedicated to exploring the correlation between ancient sites, ley lines, and their potential impact on human psychology and consciousness. Their relentless exploration and collective expertise have brought us a step closer to demystifying the nature of these ancient lines. As we dive deeper into Scene 4, we accompany thoughts that lead us into journeys into the mystical. Many UFOs and alien sightings are reported on ley lines, could these lines be highways or markers for extraterrestrial visitors? 
This tantalizing question marks the beginning of our journey into the connection between ley lines and unidentified flying objects, or UFOs. Let's dive into the theory that UFOs may use ley lines as navigational aids. Imagine this, you're an alien visitor, zipping around in the vast cosmic ocean. How do you find your way to the exact location you want to visit? You could use stars and other celestial bodies, but what if there's a simpler Earth-centric method? What if you could use the magnetic energy lines of the Earth itself, a cosmic GPS? This is where ley lines come in. Some proponents of this theory suggest that UFOs, much like the ancient mariners of Earth, navigate using these invisible lines. These energy lines crisscross the globe, connecting ancient sites and natural wonders. They work helping guide extraterrestrial visitors to their destinations. Now let's shift our gaze to the ancient ones and their understanding of these lines. There's a belief that ancient civilizations, from the Egyptians to the Mayans, were aware of these energy lines and marked them with stones and monuments. These markers served as signposts, not just for their own people, but also for visitors from the stars. Think about it. The pyramids of Giza, Stonehenge, Machu Picchu, all sitting on ley lines and all, coincidentally or not, associated with UFO sightings. Could it be that our ancestors were not just advanced architects, but also cosmic traffic controllers? Guiding UFOs to safe landing zones using the energy lines and their markers? As we delve deeper into the mysteries of ley lines, we find ourselves standing at the intersection of science, history, and the paranormal. The lines on the map lead us to new questions, new theories, and perhaps new truths. From the depths of the Earth to the farthest reaches of the cosmos, ley lines might be part of something bigger bridging our worlds. And who knows, perhaps we're not as alone as we think. Traditional shamans also played a part in ley lines working in the countryside. Shamans discovered that some locations had more intrinsic power than others, both generally and for particular tasks like healing or communicating with other dimensions of reality. These energies were especially strong because of the locations where the ley lines started and traveled through. To prevent becoming overwhelmed, shamans who tapped into them needed to be conscious of both their conscious and shadow identities. Skeptics questioned their existence, arguing that the alignments of ancient sites are merely coincidental. Proponents, however, see a purposeful design in these alignments, suggesting they may be part of a worldwide energy grid. This theory proposes that the Earth itself is crisscrossed by lines of magnetic force, with ancient sites acting as conduits for this energy. But the magic of ley lines extends beyond mere geography or physics. They're steeped in spiritual significance. Many believe that these invisible pathways carry a powerful energy that can influence one's consciousness. Some even go as far as to suggest that ley lines serve as spiritual highways, guiding the journey of souls between the physical and astral planes. In many cultures, these lines are revered and treated with great respect. They're seen as sacred paths with ceremonies and rituals often performed at their intersections. These practices, rooted in ancient traditions, add a layer of mysticism to the scientific debate. And then, there's the enchanting allure of the unknown. Despite all the research and exploration, the true nature of ley lines remains elusive. Are they mere figments of our collective imagination? What part will they play in our future? Could we learn to tap into its energy and harness power from a more natural source? Do we already use its energy in modern technology? As we grapple with these questions, the enigma of ley lines only deepens. They continue to captivate our curiosity, drawing us into a web of mystery and intrigue. For some people, perhaps it's this unending quest for answers, this yearning to unravel the unknown that truly encapsulates the magic of ley lines. In the realm of the unknown, ley lines continue to fascinate, bewitch, and beckon us towards the mysteries they hold. Are you intrigued by the enigma of ley lines? Perhaps you have a theory or a thought that could shed light on these ancient sites. Leave a comment with your thoughts. Maybe you've considered how Tesla's work relates to these energy lines or wondered the connection between ley lines and UFOs. Share your thoughts and start a conversation. Stir the pot of knowledge. 
Your input is invaluable in this grand exploration of the unknown. If you found this video engaging and informative, why not give it a thumbs up? Share it with your friends and fellow mystery seekers. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Join us on this journey of discovery, and let's continue to unravel the mysteries of our world together here on Universe Unraveled.